everyone and welcome to season seven of Vodafone Healthline, proudly brought to you by Vodafone. The future is exciting. Ready? Well, healthy citizens, they say, are the greatest asset any country can have. It is also believed that women and children are the most vulnerable. Well, that's why Vodafone is focusing on women and children's health in this season. Jeremy Patrick, you know, and say, season way dear, and no, a season at us on soon. Now, Vodafone was shut down to a mobile, a coffat dear, a bebabe boy a pomodin, titru pa, any a ma, any a mofra. Now, a dear never cosso. Season way, a do trim, and today was our yan, say, Chiaconia. Snase, Namo a pumudin, and sippy send a vodafone, a pen or pepe. Ye one year, my baby, I asked, said the amamo, ye were doctor be on your friend, street doctor. I street doctor no one who will be back and put him, put him. Baby, I will tell my dear, baby, I will say, I want to adapt for be tala, baby, crowd, bet me a pure. Oh, pure, what do you bear any say? Oh, baby, someone send me about what pumudin. Now, also, what pumudin in send me, say, be a put ya to ja. Na doctor se kuku damwa. Foda fo na kofa aba studio ha. Wamwa yi wun sembi sani nyi na anon. Edi amaw. We umpe. Na upe dien. Enye nun kwa. Afe inso. Ya wabebi ya ye friend o health corner. E wadi ye. Ya wabye nutritionist. Omu na mbe show ye nui ani nui ani. Sene ye be didi. Ye didi emu me patre. Ene enye ma. Eke kan hun bebre. Sene be ya. Ye be show ya po mu din ye. Enye omon kwa. Ya wame ma kentinka. A wame so. Ane, wama beti yi se kiti ye kiti yi. Wama be buwa ye yi ama ya tinitri ye mpomu kama 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 kama. Ewa, eye ye exercise area ho. Enu ti ebe ye do, enu ti bomo di ya, nade vi ya, shibi. Enye nong kwa, empe nyu fwa mwa ho. Ane, ye wabe bi ya ye freno adult only. Mi bo oso se wa ou ni ya mi pa chre. Enu ye empe nyu fwa mwa, emo fra, enka hubi. Enu ti edru wa, empe nyu kwa mwa, eni ye be bo. And yeah, no kwa ni a chance so kra Vodafone e was special moment be e would you media so and say and no ni se one ma yarea a duku womu na etimi womu yarea sha womu so amo mu dia rewa cha womu ni bwa fobia womu di womu how womu da june ebe two vodafone enim na vodafone na ma doctor fo e kuku dam so asa womu yarea ama se se woma pe woma pomu din pome si bre enya ude Eto o sen, e minim se e ye de 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 de, e nou ti e dru wa, a ye nou hon e soun, e ne siri e bisa, e so, ni nye ne e chi, e ni jye, e ni ye be jye, e wo studio ha. Ye wo ni emo be bre, a ye de bre mo, e wo season we mo, e nou ti ye krado, na chenye, na wapo mo din, e be si pi pa. E nye min kwa, e na midi se e jume diye, I'm here with a very smart and intelligent doctor sa, wa mo waha, so making the red seat, in this episode, in the season seven, are doctors Bright, Hilda, and Promise. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Here they are. One say, uh, Studio Ha Aye, Fe Fe Fe. Studio Ha A Bright, Aye Denso, Aye Red. Pa Pa Pa. Kama Kama Kama. Muntiani Adiwe Ebremo. This is proudly brought to you by Vodafone. The future is exciting. Ready? Ma ya ready dia mo mami ni akonya na fe ye ntwaso. Hello once again. Yeah, hello Gloria. <laughs> okay, so this is season 7 and I don't know what are your expectations? What are you bringing on board? E dey na Ghana for on chain. E dey na mo dey brew. this season we are actually bringing Ghanaians what they've always been receiving. That is quality health information all that they need to know to live a better life. And I think that this is actually going to be the best season they'll see so far. Okay. The future is exciting. And this season is going to be really packed with very practical things. We're going to teach you a lot of things that you can actually practice at home. We'll give you lots of information about how to take care of yourselves and your children. So don't miss an episode. Just join us every week for more exciting information. Okay, yeah. so Dr. Promise? Yes, I mean, it is said that knowledge is power. Mm. So it's that time we've all been looking forward to, to empower our fellow Ghanaians with great quality health knowledge, just so they can be more careful in preventing the common things that otherwise will make them sick. So look out for it, it's well packaged and very comprehensive. 
we are so eager to bring it down to you there. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you can be the future is exciting. The future is exciting. Ready? Will be someone who say, yeah, now for the phone. Future I am very simple. Vodafone has a special message for you. Well, we always need to connect with each other, and that makes us who we are. Technology is enhancing this connection and is moving faster than ever. Just when you're getting used to one, another comes along. It's dynamic and it keeps on changing. It's groundbreaking. It's exciting. No matter your pace of change or whatever happens next, Vodafone will be right there with you to make the most of it. That is why we say the future is exciting. Ready? Your service is on you. My sure, so my ready. Near the idea, Ed saying, Oh my Ghana. Upon we didn't go on here, dear Bremo. Well, the catcher will say, Eh, yeah, what doctor be a worship room? Hm? I, a friend with street doctor. Na Sabre was a yea, more cassa, more cassa, my co, yankrophobia. One more one, same be sebi, and to move from Rame Hona, Yankasa, Mummy and Bushi, Uncle Street Doctor. Hi Gloria. So today we find ourselves in the middle of Makola, the hustle and bustle of Accra. Uh, everybody looks really busy as you can see. And uh, let's see if we can find somebody who is uh, not camera shy and is willing to ask us a question. So we have Hadja here. Um, Hadja, let me give you a question here. Okay, so for those of us who don't speak Ga, what Hadja wants to know is can you still have a child when you are 40 years? So the thing is that the odds of having a child decrease uh, after age 35. This is because uh, ovulation becomes less frequent. Ovulation is the production of eggs for possible fertilization. Again, even when ovulation occurs, the egg that is produced is of quite a, a questionable quality sometimes. So the, all of this makes it a little more difficult to have a child when you are uh, 35 or more. Guys in the studio, what do you have to add? Okay. Over to us. <laughs> Yo, Hadja wonder boshi. Oh, you are done. No ni obi e lele anu kwale ni. Keji mukona forty kya anu kwale ake e formo wahame. And so her concern is legitimate. Indeed, when a woman is born, the eggs you are born with have been prepackaged in mm. you mm. whilst the woman was in the mother's womb. At about nine weeks when you were formed, the eggs have started developing. Okay. And so by the time you are between 20 to 35 years, that's actually the best time to have your baby. That's when you're most fertile. Oh, okay. By age 35, your fertility has reduced about half. Mm. Most of the eggs have gone, and those that are still there, like Sylvester said, they are not of the biggest or greatest quality. Okay. And that is how it happens. Apart from that, after 40 years, getting difficulty i mean it becomes difficult to get pregnant when you get pregnant the complications are higher and then these complications can affect the mother herself mm. the mother may get hypertension diabetes mm. the placenta may not be at the right place wow. and then the baby too they have a high chance of coming out abnormal just because the eggs that is giving rise to that baby the eggs are older than if she was younger so it is true and we're enc encouraging women to try and prioritize childbirth a lot earlier if it becomes like what age sorry so like we said between 20 and 35 mm. that's the best time mm. if for some reason you may not be able to now we have technology we're able to take out your eggs and freeze them at whatever age you are if you freeze your eggs at 30 and you become ready to have babies at 44 years, we have eggs that are 30 years old to use and we've got a good quality at that age. And so it is true, it's difficult to get pregnant, to get uh, pregnant and then safe pregnant after 40. Okay. All right. May that be brave. Mm. Hello. All right, guys. Thank you so much. See you soon. See you soon. See you <laughs> so <best time. laughs> oh, wow. Um, and then much, uh, Adia, much, uh, you may do your bed, every queer. It's as a messiani, my baby, Cacrea, my bossy, messiani, my baby. I'm the street doctor, sign already. ready. And see, young Sorry, we are still in Macola. Okay. And we have another person who is eager to ask you an important question. Yes. Uh, she's called Cynthia. Cynthia, but she wasn't be done anything. But I'm a son, Miss Sunny, sir. Mrs. Yamia, you never listen to Cassa or see a mamma and to be a son of the doctor, sir. 
So, Cynthia wants to find out. Um, she went to a herbalist who says that uh, her waist pain is due to phlegms. She wants to find out why and how. So, well, we, we hear this a lot. Uh, Cynthia, you say something we be brief. And for first say, I'm a man she obviously when a man is this year, I must say I'm a man here. Uh, excess water. Ah, uh, you must finish the work. You must start doctor's own studio. So then, I'm a man. Yo, so best I ever had ever to ask. I send with a yati be brave. Yati be brave. Yati be brave. Me, I can't be at them. Yeah, so I knew my Maya. I be your coco. I knew your coco. I be at my Maya. You know, I don't know. A herbalist. These are the two main business or trade words. Mm -hmm. It has to either be coco in your eyes or probably in your anus. Or flames somewhere. Maybe I'm not so high in the brain. But flames, now, because of your flames, are in your lungs, in your lungs, you know. So from your lungs to your throat, it either comes out through your nose or through your mouth, mm. okay, or your intestines. Mm. In the intestines, even that's when you have to probably take some certain foods mm. or probably take some certain medications before, before the flames okay. can come out. Mm. Sometimes what the herbalists do is that they'll give you some medicine as soon as you take it. The intestines produce a lot of flames and it comes out and so so, oh. but. There's no flames in the waist, okay? So I'll just quickly demonstrate something to you on the okay, screen. Okay, go ahead. Okay, if we can look on the screen. Okay, so we have this fine gentleman who <laughs> uh, lacks a lot of flesh, but <laughs> he's going to teach us something today. All right, so what we see here is the skeleton. I want to focus more on the spine, so I'll just turn him around. Okay. All right, so we have the spine here, okay? So all these are the vertebrae, and these are very, very, very important so what usually happens is that as you age these bones or what we call vertebrae begin to grow sharp ends something we call osteophytes now these osteophytes can tend to prick on our nerves so right now what you see there are nerves so i'll just bring this closer then you can see that there's a a nerve moving right between the bones here so usually when we have either the bone that is now overgrown pricking on that nerve. It causes a lot of pain. All right. Then it, between, let me take the nerves off. So between each bone, so for instance, this one and this one is a space. And this space is usually filled by what we call a disc. Okay. Now, in some cases, this disc can prolapse. Mm. So in some cases, this disc can prolapse and actually begin to press on the nerves that I showed you right at the back here, okay? So these nerves that run between the vertebrae. And this is usually the cause of so much pain that in some people they tell you that, me tip pain or me season, but as I say, a tsnefa me nemu, you know, and that is because the nerves are being compressed. I'll add another tissue. So we have muscles here. Now for people who do a lot of hard work, all right, they usually experience what we call muscle spasms. All right, so that means the muscles are pulling against each other, are pulling in the opposite direction. And this is really a common cause of uh, pain in the back. And all these things can be treated easily. Apart from that, there are people who actually have infection. All right, so it could be some bacterial infection. Sometimes it could be tuberculosis of the spine. And all this can cause pain. So definitely, it's not a mamang. And if you take this to the mm. hospital, the doctors can do the necessary tests, the necessary investigations, and give you medicine or if anything at all, physiotherapy. You know, so be massage. It's all there to get better. So please, if you go and take some herbalist medication that they say is for a mm. mama and all that, before you realize your kidneys are being spoiled, or so many things are being spoiled. So please, this is what it is. Either some muscle, some nerves, some bone, or some infection that is going on. And all this can easily be dealt with. All right, thank you. All right, guys. Really good. Thank you. Welcome. All right, bye bye. <laughs> oh, Auntie, say now you made you never call. I mean, what would you say? It's 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 hey, mini muno. Hey, tell me no more about how men warm. A mum will cry. You bet me about baby. I will announce so. What be some question? Be our person will be sir. We'll be right back after this break. Please stay. Asil, yes. kindly buy me a few more things. I'll send you the money one by one. So that I don't mix them up. Okay, ma. For 10 Ghana cities not topping up. Not a fresh life, white and brown feathered cockerel. Holding up mommy sin singing voice. No, I will go flow. I want you to buy me some red salty 
Zulu beef. Why don't you send all the money at once so you don't have to pay any extra charges? With Vodafone Cash Ahoto, I pay only three CDs a month and I can send any amount as many times as I want at no extra cost. Register for Vodafone Cash on Star 110 Hash for three Ghana CDs per month. Vodafone Cash, Sika Samaya Day. Buy Pepper. Original Red Moko Show. The future is exciting. Ready? Welcome back and thanks for staying. Well, as you can see in the studio, I mean in our beautiful studio, we're being sandwiched by the health corners. Mm -hmm. We have the exercise area and then the nutritionist area. Now, the only thing is that we have to say 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 Ene, ene yedu omu nyine ebe chire mo. Se nebe ya mu hu omu amu nyet. Ma fre omu ama na yefe. Ye exercise area ye wo kojo ene Michael. Ah, wo mu jina ho. Aye aketi aketi e chen yen. Hey! Hi guys. Hello. Hello. So tell us, how excited are you to be on the show? How, what should we expect? What are you bringing on board? Ghana for more, more be drilly, one more and ask them what you're more be cop, boko, 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 boko. I'm a BBIA. First of all, I think we are very, we are very happy. Mm. We are we actually having this platform to um, educate Ghanaians basically about the importance and the need for them to take exercise more seriously. Um, I was telling him the other day that I'm very happy looking at the rate at which Ghanaians and say young men and young women are taking exercise very serious. Oh yes. Yeah, 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 just for the fun of it. I'm going to the gym, you can pictures near there. But at the end of the day, it still serves the purpose, you know, of helping us live a healthy life. You see, uh, I think that we will try to explain to them what exercise really entails, the type of exercises and try to give them some routines, some with me I will feel wherever they are, not necessarily the house. So that I mean, we can have an exciting future. Uh, Michael, where can we be? Because I mean, me hiyamo pa, mo she me a me hiyamo pa. Young cohorts, me hiyamo. It's a very church exercise. It's not a bit me a you know. And you necessarily say we be called gym, but if you are fit, you bit me a exercise. Nebe inti. We ni anbe church me seni yawo aerobics na non aerobic exercises. The old be church me nebe demonstrating in our. Ah, mo man in train mo, e train mo. Anyway, inti. Basically, we have two different types. I mean, there are so many dimensions, but let's just limit it here. We have aerobic and anaerobic exercises. Mm. Aerobic here, mostly the jogging, walking, near the you say, I'm for tire. I know it's very good for your heart and in your lungs, helping blood circulation in your system near there. Okay. And then we have the anaerobic or yeah. mostly the strength training. And I won't say, I'm for fun that year. But most of the time, I am mm. for yeah, only the aerobic exercise, which is not really the best. You have to actually combine both okay. because. Uh, it's a wholesome whereby or oh, muscles you need your muscles your muscles when you build more muscles uh, it actually feeds on the fat the fat oh. the, your muscles convert the fat into a form of energy exactly not a use it for hmm. daily activities now we into the more muscles are war the lesser fat uh, or, uh, or body, or body you know actually of course muscles will actually feed on the fat it is very important strength training uh, and I see you here, young, uh, young men and young women actually doing the law. You see ladies in the gym squatting with oh, heavy yes. weights in their oh, yes. I think say, the education is going right. People yeah. are, are beginning to understand it. And we would advise everybody to, to uh, actually partake in it, especially even with your bone density. Uh, it's very important. Strength training helps you with that. Yeah. Osteoporosis, we want to get rid of that as well. Oh, that? I mean, the regular squats, I mean, okay. regular yeah, regular squats, yeah, 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 yeah. Very important. One of the nice. best exercises you can do anywhere. Ladies, men, it's good because your lower body has a lot of muscles. And yeah. then when you do squats, you utilize these muscles. And the more muscles you're utilizing, the more calories you're burning at the end exactly. of the day. That's one thing. But apart from that, a lot of research proves that squats actually boost your testosterone level exactly. and also helps with your, uh, your metabolism going up as well. We have plank very quickly. Plank. Uh, this helps with your core stability, your midsection, and the whole your body. You know, at the end of the day, where, when you do like you challenge your core and also even your shoulders, which is very good for your stomach and then your your lower back as well, mm. strengthening it. Mm. And then uh, maybe push-ups. I mean, push-ups. Hey. We have. Mm. We are mem we are mem ah, okay. yo, no one is too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a modified form for our ladies. This is good for your upper body as well. 
Okay. Uh, strengthening your shoulders, your, your chest muscles, your triceps. Everybody, in see, basically, the BNSA, every single year, we will we'll develop a nice routine whereby to make it easier for people, wherever okay. they are. Whether the hotel room, the, your house, or work, maybe I will be uh, just mm. do it, and then at the end of the day, we can have an exciting future. So our nutritionists in season seven are Frema and Reggie. This is season seven, as the yes. very first episode. Yeah. So tell us, Ghana food team, what do we expect? What are you bringing on board? Just say, yesterday we need team we are a DM partner, a DB Bray, a Pomodi. Well, a bear one. Gana for be brief, he said, Do you know what Gana and you're good enough? Okay. By the day, but I know say this particular season, we are just going to show you how you can use our own local seasonal foods to improve your health. Mm. Okay, guys, yeah, and drink chance of Kramu fans, you just wear. Yeah, take a whole colors, the colors. I didn't ever be. Well, and your bonnet, colors, colors, swing in our chest, you better talk about anemia. I don't know, you talk about anemia. You'll be surprised to know that 60% of Ghanaian women between the ages of 19 and 49 are actually anemic. Prima, is this a problem? A big problem, because it increases their risk of complications in pregnancy and childbirth. Do you also know that if a pregnant woman is anemic and then she has any complications that lead to um, bleeding during childbirth, she stands a high chance of losing her life. Mm. Also, because a pregnant woman supplies blood to herself as well as the growing baby, mm -hmm. If she's anemic, the baby may not get enough blood supply. This can lead to complications and children being born with low birth weight or... Or even premature delivery. You do not want to have your baby before it's time. Now, the other thing is to say, so we are anemic. Now, we are anemic. A bit more than a man, you are not going to be able to do it. And as a physical development, you are not You don't want that. But if you are anemic, you are not going to be able to Anemia na ayer kan hoa sem no. It simply means you have low red blood cell levels. In Ghana, we we'll say obela alo ola no eche. In Chi, we we'll say da umoja swati ana se uni moja. But Frema, why and how does it happen? Yeah, one was sem no say. Moja wa di be a friend hemoglobin. So there's hemoglobin in the blood, and that hemoglobin needs iron. Iron ni ati be brebe no. Hemoglobin here iron. Ana nyo me bisusu kosu oni padu ani mo a here folate any vitamin B12. So iron, folate, any vitamin B12, I'm going to be able to get it. And you're going to be able to get it. And you're going There are many food sources, and that's what I want to show you. For instance, if you take meat, it is high in iron and also vitamin B12. But you don't want to overdo it. It's so sorry, Namano. And also, we know about liver. Liver is also high in, in iron. But our uh, vitamin, vitamin A. So when you're going to be able to get it, you're going to be able to get it. Remember also about green leafy vegetables, including kontomre, alefu, ayoyo, the green leafy vegetables that we know about. They are high in folate, also in some iron. Well, I know that to me, to me, did your baby ah. Now, now, where's where yogurt here? This is yogurt. Mm. It is also high in vitamin B12 and other milk products. Mm. That is good news. And so, no, what they are trying, back up, we'll be here later. Now, it was some super food. Metro. So, I have a friend, Ghana, and Kasani, and Kasia, Metro food. I have a friend, and I say, Turkey berries. I have a friend, and I say, Turkey berries. I have a friend, and I say, Turkey berries. I have a friend, and I say, Turkey berries. But I have a friend, and I say, Turkey berries. But I have a friend, and I say, As you can see, your baby be a friend, Turkey berry fruit blend. We'll see then. Turkey berry fruit blend. Turkey uh, berry fruit, fruit blend. Uh, the idea. Great. And yeah, hey. The apache and they say, you bet your number to make you super to swap raw. I'll bet you made the amount of pomodin. Just two handfuls. Look right. And now, pineapple so kakra. As much as you want. We'll see here, Anka, or orange, orange juice. And I say, um, grapefruit. The patcho, fresh. This is about 200 ml. Mm, but we won't see Amber Wedding. We'll be back with you. Yeah, but you also know about your idea. Yeah. Of our blender, but you won't be so many kakra. No one share with two handfuls thing in a room. But you only want some, but you. Now the man can use your juice now while squeezing it fresh. No, for good. Nini na na fake kakra so. Ne mi idea no. Mani nyama. Manenyam kosi tama befe kakra. Oh yeah, fruit of your choice. Yeah, the apple, pineapple, pine. Ti anu ni adi begum. Yene kakra bi pe ne begum. Dulu a ope bi ya why? But remember, you can use apple, you can use oranges, you can even use banana mm. if you want. Put the bag on, and then continue to blend. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. We are not for fresh glass. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now what she why dear gum? Now what say I don't know person no fresh. Some man no say ya. But one say the dead them can crack crack. You man the dead them no. I have five bow. We saw man's one is who. I want them to hustle so. Sad ye. I want them pa. But my when you are in trouble break to say. Iron. Any fall it now you can wash them. Remember that you can chill it, but don't keep it beyond seventy two hours. That mm. is three days. Mm. Now, I didn't see for milk now. Can we break the cam? We didn't use milk as others do because milk has something we call a, a nutrient we call calcium. Calcium actually prevents iron from being absorbed in the small intestines. Also, we used orange juice rather, and you can use other juices that have vitamin C. Vitamin C rather aids the absorption of iron. That is why we used the orange juice rather than the milk. Do a catch and say, Mom, what the milk a year comes to swan and some with the air drawn on the moon. Yeah, into moon so why? But if you want to drink milk, please drink it two hours before or after you have drank this blend that we have made so that you can get the full amount of the iron in it. Regiamin can it tree? No, Monty, I say ye. So, so I know pa, Nanka only dear Nanka Wabo Wadi, why you free? We train two hours, and so one will be a milk womb. And I said, So, real few who now will be a milk womb, so we see and now be be sana. But train two hours answer one of my dear way. And yes, I remember there are many other benefits of a wound system, including wow, wow, bush show on the constipation. And now, young tight team in the cones, so I do a bab walker, a very review fine. Also, because of the high fiber that it has, it has been shown that it can also be helped, can be used to manage diabetes. No quarry and other benefits we can talk about. <laughs> no time. I mean, drink and make an anukwale anukwale. Anukwale. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. See you again. Or oh, stay blessed. Eat healthy. And remember, always eat raw foods if you can. That's it. I'll be in two. <laughs> OK. Get them once be brain. Yeah. We can't wait to see you again, yes. you know, to yes. bring us more healthy tips. And we hear your part. That's it. Thank you. All right. That's it. So thank you guys, our thank nutritionists you. and our trainers, our exercise area people. Uh, could you any ne brother Michael? Yeah, I'm a So since it is just say I am doing we are near the way in Swaka. Also we are doing we are not. I say how I free visa. Now we say we go pan, we healthy. Edigum. What can I say? We see in your part. In your part. You're still watching Vodafone Healthline, proudly brought to you by Vodafone. The future is exciting. Ready? Well, it's time to go for your questions from the Vodafone 255 line, where majority of the cases we dealt with in Season 7 came from. Um, we're going straight to the question for the week. Or questions for the week. Yes. All right, so let's go to the first question. Okay, then. so we have a pelpour from the... Bolgatanga area mm -hmm. and his question is my sister had three cesarean sections for all her pregnancies is that normal can she deliver her fourth vaginally wow <laughs> i think this is a very good question um you know because interestingly some women actually opt for cesarean section mm -hmm. and in some women there are certain conditions or situations that call for it but then I think women should understand that cesarean section is a normal thing. Mm. It doesn't make you less of a woman mm. or take anything away from you. We know some women, uh, after they have cesarean section once, twice, and they're told that, oh, the third one has to be a cesarean section, they end up running away from where they're having antenatal to a different place to try and deliver vaginally. Mm. And that is really dangerous. So there are certain situations that actually predispose you to probably the doctor deciding that, okay, this has to be a cesarean section. For instance, uh, your child, if your child is probably too big and uh, probably the child is even bigger than the mother's waist, that this could actually result in a delayed or, or prolonged labor and this could actually affect the baby and affect the mother. So this would have to result in a cesarean section. Now again, if the baby is not positioned right, sometimes the baby can lie across the womb and there's no way the baby can come out or probably the baby is coming with the legs and it's maybe your first time you're actually pregnant. You see, this would actually, to make sure that everything goes safe and sound, the option would be cesarean section. In some cases, that you also realize that the baby is suddenly not breathing well. So you listen to the baby's heartbeat, you realize that it's beginning to drop, drop, drop. 
this is an emergency. The doctors will quickly go in, take out the baby, mm -hmm. so they can have your baby. In some cases, the problem is also with the mother. For instance, if the mother has a, f a huge fibroid that is actually preventing the passage of the baby, the doctors will want to obviously deliver the baby via cesarean section. Okay. In some cases, the placenta okay, is actually in the lower aspect and is blocking the baby from coming out. In some cases, too, the mother probably has severe hypertension, which is what we call preeclampsia. Now, if care is not taken and the mother quickly delivered, it could actually result in what we call eclampsia, which means that the mother goes into what we call fits mm. or seizures, and this is really life-threatening. So, indeed, there are things that would predispose a woman or probably have the woman go to have a cesarean section, mm. but at the end of the day, cesarean section is actually purposed to make sure that baby is safe and sound, mother, mother is, is safe, safe and, sound. and sound, yes. Yeah, and additionally, okay. the, the fact that she's had three cesareans precludes her from having a normal delivery or a vaginal delivery. Maybe. Because precludes the, is a big word. <laughs> yes, that is true. What it is is that yes. after the woman has had one cesarean, mm -hmm. we assess the next pregnancy to see if this baby can come uh, vaginally. Mm -hmm. if, there, if there's a possibility, we would allow that. Okay. But if we think it is going to be risky, the risk we are afraid of is that in the course of labor, where we cut on the womb at the first mm -hmm. cesarean, it becomes a scar. And that scar is a weak area on the womb. And in the course of labor, it can easily tear. And when that tear, we are, the woman is going to bleed into her tummy. Baby is going to be thrown out into the blood. Baby is going to take him blood. Baby is going to die. Mother's life will be in danger. Mother doesn't get help early. She's going to die as well. You know, so by the time the woman has had two cesareans, the chances of vaginal delivery are much less, or it is a lot more risky to attempt to have a vagina delivery. All right, thank you guys. Uh, Ayana and Pembebre, I've been to say, and so on for us to have a vagina delivery. I've been to say, 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 i I heard that, and we see so we are penia and he come out pa. We are both ready. I mess so be brave, mess so chill. Who can cry? And penny phone. We make sure say eh eh. Baby say be cost so mess so. We mama of friend and country. He say say you don't penny phone. We your friend or adult only. Yeah ba. And penny phone. You be doing come out what? We need try your homra. He loves to fire that goal. Can I continue watching the football match on my phone? Yes! Go! <laughs> now by dialing star 900 hash, you can actually move data from your Vodafone fixed broadband onto your Vodafone number. Anytime, anywhere. Asset it. Esu. Akasa. <laughs>
mm. associated with it. You realize that mm. sometimes there's a lot of vaginal pain, you know, either from the tears, yeah. the stretching. Sometimes mm. we even have to make a cut, you know, to enable the baby to come out yeah. and then later suture it. So the place is really very sore, okay? And usually after delivery, the woman is still sometimes bleeding a little. And it can actually take a while before yeah. the blood comes out, yeah. you know, fully. And again, you, you realize that the cervix had to open for the baby to come out. It takes a while for the cervix to close. So if you engage in sexual intercourse too soon, you probably might introduce infections. And once that happens, it can cause a whole lot of problems. Okay, mm -hmm. so we usually just advocate that six weeks is good enough. But I think the most important thing is that it's an agreement between the couple. Which, which time works when they're both ready and that is it. The only thing we advise is that the man should just be gentle Mm. He should not be too quick to resume the former. Uh, you know, <laughs> and also observe mm. hygiene. Be very okay. clean. Okay. And I think that, I think that would be about it. Nice, yeah. nice. Uh, just that. Just that. that yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, mommy, Mr. Question, get to where you are. The permission. And he won't mean because six weeks. You know, a person met not in so she so. Now, why are you okay now? <laughs> you know, once a whole he lead here, you okay. Six weeks, yeah, yeah, so that we minimize the risk of infection. And I say, yeah, pam ho, and I say, a whole in I be he lead here, answer. Okay. The most important thing is try when you feel like it. Once it's painful, you're not ready. Okay. That's it. okay. Yeah. And your mommy and your next question, sorry. My penis bends to the right when it is erect. Hey. Is this natural? Mm -hmm. Or do I need to see a doctor? Hilda. <laughs> okay, so that's an interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so essentially, some bending is allowed. I mean, it could bend a bit to the left, it could bend a bit to the right. So long as it's not bending too much. Some say probably it shouldn't bend to about 30 degrees. You know, it, the bend shouldn't be too much. There shouldn't be any pain associated with it. Mm. And then you should still be able to have sexual intercourse without any undue pain or discomfort. So if these are absent, then it means that you are probably normal. However, once you have pain, the bending is too much, you're not able to have sex comfortably you have a lot of discomfort then it's an indication that see your doctor to have it okay. checked out yes and there are i mean interventions available sometimes some people may need medication some may need surgery but all these things will only be found out once you see your doctor can we go to the next question? Yes. Uh, this is from Adrash. I think she's very worried. Yep. She mm. says, is it true that cutting the vagina to help in delivery leaves the place wider than before? Hmm. <laughs> very important question again. Mm -hmm. So these are things worrying our women, mm. and I'm sure and the men too. So what it is is that as the woman is in labor and the baby is traveling out of the birth canal, the area between the vagina and the anus, it stretches, stretches very well, and just to allow the baby to come out. You can imagine the small vagina and the whole baby's head is popping out. Mm. Sometimes it tears in the process. Other times, the midwife or the doctor would have to inject the place to numb it, and then we cut it a little bit. We call it episiotomy. And then after delivery, we stitch it up nicely. Naturally, the vagina has been forced open by the baby's head. So it becomes a little wider, a little loose, a little softer, and a bit more open. But it's just a matter of time. It tightens up gradually. We teach the woman some exercises, like the Kegel exercise. Mm. When you're there, you just squeeze your bum. Mm. Release, squeeze, bum. You can try it. So do that. No, who can I am? I uh -huh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so after delivery, we encourage the woman to do that. About, about six times, then mm -hmm. you stop in the road and you do it, do it. You are in a shopping mall, you are watching TV, you are bathing, you are, you know, you are in a meeting, when you are listening, you just be squeezing and releasing. <laughs> it helps to tighten it so that with time, you gain back the tone of the vagina and make your sexual life okay. How long does it take to tighten up? Uh, your particular time? No, yeah. it's, it's a continuous thing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Until we tighten. 
then I, along the line, you get pregnant again, another baby will come and open it up and then you continue enough, again. Uh -huh. So, hmm. but it's not that uh, when we cut it during delivery, it leaves it wider. No, it tightens up okay. gradually over time. And of course, the exercise is helpful. All right. Exercise is helpful. And we need to exercise area, a health corner. Kojoni Michael, Beba, Abe, Chrechremu, se wa uwe wye na ebya ye chao, anayati wa se, na ufin se ho, ebye kakra. Ebe chao exercise, haube ya, ebe buwa oma, eho ache. Sa kama. So what you must say. I don't have to watch it. Kama kama mao. This is proudly brought to you by Vodafone. The future is exciting. Ready? Okay. I have to say. No, no. I read it. So I cried. Why I cried? I read. My car is remote. That that. Now it's my I read it. Dear. Ni muwe ni kapa. Wano diwa ya ni se. Ni a doctor fwa bo 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 so wahano. No no so abone tofa. Na wa pe bibi efrimu no de ehun first aid tips abreye na ene I read wo bibi obeka ho asem eno nti mo miankwaji I read na ye ba ye beto aso Hello and welcome to another season of Healthline I'm I read and as you know I'm not a doctor but I'm here to help with some first aid tips Today we talk about preeclampsia Preeclampsia is a serious and possibly fatal pregnancy condition some key symptoms include sudden weight gain with swelling of hands and feet, blood vision that may be associated with severe headaches, severe abdominal pain with nausea and vomiting in some cases. Here is what to do. Reduce level of activity and get rest. Monitor your blood pressure. Monitor your baby's movements or kicks. Look out for sudden swelling of feet, severe headaches or abdominal pain. And if you have any of these symptoms, Take a family member or friend along with you to the hospital for urgent care. So you see, it's not really rocket science now, is it? It's time to talk about the kids' health. And it's actually the kids' corner. Our doctors are ready. Yes, Gloria. Our topic for today is hearing impairment in children. Mm. Uh, hitherto, people used to always think that if you can't hear well or you've got a problem with your hearing, it's that thing that can only be associated with the older people. Mm. But then indeed, children do have problems hearing, and I think that's what we want to talk about today. So why is that? A lot of uh, courses would explain this. The commonest sometimes is just a lot of wax, wax which is so packed. You know, the wax is what the body produces in the ear to lubricate, but mm. it can get so packed up that it's blocking the ear. And the sad thing is that it may not be noticed you keep talking to the child, hey, don't do this again, the child doesn't hear, so the child does it again, you spank the child, not knowing there's a problem. The child goes to school, they can't hear well, so they're not doing well in school. And nobody really is aware that this is the problem, you know, but we need to be attentive and see how the children are behaving. Then, if something's not going well, then we evaluate, bring to hospital and let's okay. assess. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes due to trauma, the children can poke things into the ear mm. without knowing the danger it poses and it damages what we call the eardrum. Dr. Hilda. In a few cases, the children may actually be born with a hearing impairment and that may be associated with some infections that probably the mother had while she was pregnant with a child. Okay, so those are some of the congenital causes or things that occur whilst the mother is pregnant with a baby. And then once the baby is born, certain infections like meningitis or infection around the brain can cause the child to have the hearing loss. Some medications that they are given can also cause the children to have hearing impairment. Other times the child may have severe neonatal jaundice or what we call bilirubin encephalopathy. That's it. I knew you'll stop me. <laughs> bilirubin <laughs> encephalopathy. Okay. Essentially it's just jaundice or yellowing of the eyes which has gone too high or the levels of which have become too high so that it has damaged the brain of the baby. So that may also be associated with hearing impairment in children. So basically, the causes are so many. And 
sometimes you only notice it when the child is not doing well in school or when the child is not able to talk. You know, around two years, you expect that the child will be able to say quite a number of words. And for some people, that is only the time that they will notice that the child can't hear because the child is not speaking. So when the tests are done, then they'll realize that really the child cannot even hear at all because you need your, your hearing to be able to form language or to be able to speak. Jumedia is so an answer season where mo Vodafone assign a baby. A dear na omoyana a chance so cra since it's a best senior tremu and a month for any jim hopa just a season where cried or much shimokina and unty a month for the omoda genuine omo how ever two Vodafone and him na and ne a year weaker a decay ye war a same be a person and a much a same day. I perceive any much. Oh, my uncle, she's an funny yabba. I bet you are so. Serena is a patient who was referred to our center on account of hearing loss. And we had to do hearing tests to ascertain the level of hearing. The mother came with a complaint of her inability to hear well. You have to shout before she responds. Difficulty hearing in school and her speech is not too good so we need to determine the hearing levels to find out what her problems are so she came to the center midway she was so obeti pee what's here no i'm on sasso now they're back from pee no i'm on sasso now they're back from so i be there it's okay today Upon testing Serena, we found out that she has um, hearing loss in both ears, one ear better than the other, the right ear in the moderate to severe level of hearing loss, and then the left ear severe to profound, which definitely will give her a lot of challenges in communication. So we went through case history to find out if there's any events that happened through her childhood but the mother didn't give us any definite events that might have caused the hearing loss but she also had a hole in heart that was repaired and sometimes some diseases come with other effects so possibly there's a combination and that could have caused the hearing loss as well or any medications that she took during her treatment so we've been able to get her hearing levels and we've come out with a hearing loss which needs to be managed. Hearing impairment is the most common sensory impairment in, in the human setting and WHO has put um, hearing loss about one in a thousand. That's mostly for the developed countries but it's worse in the low income and middle income countries. In the whole world, we have about 36 million children having hearing loss. And so even in our center, we see a lot of children. On average, we are attending to about 200 children a month and diagnosing hearing losses. For Serena, we are going to be using the behind hearing aid, which is most often recommended for children because it's able to hang behind the ear, stabilized, and then also because um, you don't want it very small and then it might get lost easily. Yes, and then with our weather, um, it tends, when it's in the canal, it tends to collect a lot of moisture. So for durability sake, the behind the ear is always good for our environment as well. Serena is ready to have her hearing aids fitted and we definitely are going to see a change in her hearing at the end of the session. So we have behind the ear hearing aids and with the ear molds, the ear molds were made specifically for her so we expect a good fitting for her. So we fit the ear molds first, this for the right ear. And then we put the hearing aids on. So that's what it said behind the ear, the hearing aid sits on the ear. Fair enough. 
How are you? I'm fine. Usually we have the emotions, uncertain emotions. Some children will cry, some children will shout and things like that. It's just an initial reaction to the sound that is coming into their ear. With children, some don't show even some emotion at all, but we need to verify that the equipment is giving her enough amplification for her hearing. So that's why we are doing all these processes. Serena? Yeah. That's say. I'm fine. You're fine. Give me a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> we are now at the stage of teaching them how to take care of the hearing aids in terms of wearing it, how to keep it so that it will last long for them. <laughs> Welcome back. So Vodafone heeded to the cry of uh, our little girl here, Serena, and her mom, Adia. Na omo problem de yenye na yehu ye. Se se de nyanko po wadom. Serena timiti asem. O Vodafone abwa ama wenya hearing aid and no no actually say your man in fidia be our division of summa a bad picky sound nasa ama adjiji ama wati nye ubi kacheno dear ya say ya wo nia tu di na ubi bebo di na unti minye so ene die vodafuna da roma a doctor sada room and tea serena tia sem and to one enema me waha ye bedding komo kakra na ya should be any geno aqua could draw Serena, how are you? I'm fine. You are fine indeed. Wow. So said you would TV be out. You can be out, Betty. And you're sorry, I'm Hey, Serena. Tenace, sweet. Tenace. Nice, 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 nice. You need Serena, baby, baby, didn't come out. You'll be a fairy at the Kakra, ain't he? And fairy at you. So say, what you have some? Oh, because I would say. So you have to be bubbly. I was so more need you. What you say? Then you know, baby, boy, now Kakra, Kakra, we read, 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 cross four. Send your mother, sir. Oh, show my no. Then you know, boy, and can't hold it. What it? Nice. You need Serena, mama, and him come out. Nadia. Eh, ye ye boa Serena and as a Vodafone e boa obe mm. e die ni je na die abro e die na obeka che Vodafone fo afen so e die nso na obeka che Ghana fo a omo hwe o a die akasa dem me ka chira Vodafone for the middle was e pa sanka nyo mo a nka me ba no on ti kasa na oku school kura mpo na omo chira na die a on tempo na wachro mm. ba se si a voda fo ada romanti oku school na om kira dia o o hu o ti e ma onu su ti mi chira o de nwo mo ex ba fie e be ye kama e ma hu se wati ase mpa cha onu su ni chicha se o ti mi ya dia kura mpo che o ma mo ti asama nka se ni te o si o ya dia pa ye nti wow de me ka chira voda fo se o mi da wa se pa nyankopon en chira o Thank you so much. Adia, proud. Why? A big thank you going out to Vodafone. The future is exciting. Ready? Thanks once again to our doctors, Bride, Hilda, and Promise. Do you have any last words for uh, viewers? For sure. First of all, I'd like to just welcome viewers back to Healthline. Okay. Uh, I think they're on the right station, the right program. Mm. And uh, they should keep watching Vodafone Healthline. There's a lot to learn that could actually impact their health for the better. Okay. 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 Okay, Dr. Hilda. All right. So <laughs> I think that people should look out for signs that their children may not be hearing. Okay. So that it is picked up early and then help is uh, given early to their okay. children. Okay. Promise? Yes. Promise us a good show. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. It's going to be very good all the way. But I just want to uh, say to my dear woman that mm. don't delay childbirth till it's too late. However, if you're already there, 
don't think it's a hopeless thing. Mm. Just come forward. There are ways we can help you. And don't just live there in despair. Thank you so much. Now, Emma Oren Fise, your first wealth is your health. She said, when you are there and ask what you are doing, it is kind of a and it was poor mudding. And with mommy and she, na yem pe and more fran wa poor mudding, poor messy bre. Now things from penny for no so, yem moy and home buying. Send ye be ya, ye be boil my gana, I'm an a funny to my pa, Ephra. Ye friend me, Gloria. Next week, ye be sensia. Bye bye. Exciting. Ready?